Hello, today we're talking about the LTR-5 from LAE. This is a great controller, it's got a single relay with a single probe. Now one thing I will discuss before we get started is you have to make sure you have the correct probe for the correct controller. This one we're working with is LTR-5T, which means it takes a PTC probe. There is also the LTR-5C, which takes an NTC probe. So you do have to make sure you have the right probe with the right controller. Okay, so in this scenario, we're going to be turning it into a chiller. You can also use it for heating, but this one's a little bit different from all the other LAEs where you don't have a dedicated parameter which signifies heating or cooling. You have to set it up a plus or minus on your hysteresis to engage the heating or cooling function. So we're going to set it up as a chiller. So we're going to push and hold the two buttons on the outside to engage the parameters. So once we're in, SEO is a readout scale, so push and hold the, the end button, the up and down button. It's set to one, which means we're going to show decimal points. We can also change it to two to use whole numbers and remove the decimal point, or we can use degrees F. You do have to ensure, if you ever change it from one to two, you have to go through the entire parameter selection, as all it does is remove the decimal point, so essentially 20, will become 2.0. So we're going to leave it at 1, and we're going to move on to SPL, is lower set point limit, so push and hold the end button. This is minus 19.9. We can increase it, we can decrease it to whichever we, we feel. So in this scenario, for example, we're going to leave it at minus 18. SPH is the upper set point limit. This one is set to 99.9. .9. Again, you can bring this down to whichever you feel is appropriate for your application. Uh, for this moment in time, we're just going to bring it to 99. One SP is the actual set point value, our target set point we're looking for. So push and hold the end button. This is at 40. We want to bring this down to, let's say, 20 degrees. So 20 degrees. Okay. Now this one is 1Y, this basically lets us choose whether we're going to go for a hysteresis, a differential, or for proportional bandwidth. I always pr prefer hysteresis over proportional bandwidth because the bandwidth can be very complicated to set up. So hysteresis is nice and simple, it will go on a differential of degrees as per what we're going to set up now. So the next one is 1HY, so this is our dedicated um, differential. So you'll notice at this moment in time it's set up to minus 5. If we leave it at minus 5, we will leave it in heating mode. So it will go minus 5 degrees from the set point before the heater will look to engage back in or the relay will look to get engaged back in. We can increase this. We can increase it to a plus number. Let's just say plus four. So that means now it will go four degrees over temperature, over set point, and then the relay will engage. So it will work as a refrigerator. So the next one is one CT. Now this is cycle time. Okay. Essentially, depending on how you've set it up previously on the um, hysteresis, it will work on the basis of it will work run for ten seconds after the output is actually required. So 1PF means if there's ever a probe failure, do we want the controller to turn off or to remain on? In this instance, we want to leave it off. So if the, if the controller fails, or sorry, if the probe fails, the controller would automatically turn off. BAU, this is known as standby. So do we want it to be functional or not functional? So non-functional means you will not be able to turn on by changing it to SBY. We are engaging standby mode. So this means we can turn it on and off at will when we come out of it using the end button, the on off button. The next one is SIM for this is display slowdown. This is preset to zero, which means it will be responsive as and when the probe changes, it will automatically change as we see it in real time on the front screen. You can delay this by increasing, but if you leave it as zero, it will change in real time. 
The next is OS1, this is the offset, so depending on where your probe is, if it's too near a heat source or too near the cooling source, and you need it to be showing a little bit different from what it really truly is, you can increase this or decrease this by using the up and down arrows appropriately. And this one we're going to leave it as zero, so it will give us a true reading. The next one is ADR, and this is used for addressing. If you have multiple different LAE controllers or LTR5s going back to a central controller, they would have to be numbered. This one will be numbered as number one, but if this was the 17th in place, you would increase this to number 17, so the central controller would know this will be number 17. In this instance, we're going to bring it back down to one, because this is not part of a central controller. Then you back around to the beginning at SCL, you come out of the parameters, and that is how you set up an LTR-5.